Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com where we continue to watch all those areas across the tropics, the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and then looking farther and farther out into the Atlantic. Now, last week we were watching this one area uh, showed that very small sign and maybe we might see something trying to develop, but we, we mentioned then, regardless of whether it develops or not, it's going to bring a lot of heavy rain across Texas, and that's that's what ended up happening. It did not develop, but it was a lot of heavy rain, and it continues to bring heavy rain across southern portions of Texas. You're seeing some larger wind shear across the western Gulf of Mexico, and still we're dealing with these areas of wind shear across the Caribbean. You continue to see some of those areas, and then the tropical waves that are moving through, they're all very weak in nature. Now, yesterday, there's this elongated trough here. We had a burst of convection late yesterday. For a time, Hurricane Center was kind of focusing in, still putting a very small chance that maybe something could happen with this. But they're also noting the strong wind shear, and that's exactly what you're seeing. You do see a little burst of convection from time to time, but still there's that stronger wind shear right in that area. So just not going to see anything happen. In fact, none of the major computer models even really hint at anything happening with this. So it's just a, a tropical wave that will continue to work its way onto the to the west and then as you look out into the central and eastern Atlantic really not much going on. We do have some waves working their way off the coastline, but notice what's happening. It's moving into an area with some really strong wind shear. So there's a lot of issues going on. We've got strong wind shear where we have the tropical waves. And then you notice all this quiet area where we have the lower wind shear. The problem is in the areas that we tend to have the lower wind shear, we tend to have drier air. And so we continue to watch these big surges of dry air working their way off the coastline. That will continue to be the case as we go through the next several days through this week. Stronger wind shear, dry air, all these things cause issues for developing tropical systems. And that's really what we've been seeing all throughout this year is just a lot of that dry Saharan air, that dust working its way off the coast of Africa. So as you watch the Fox model, you're just not seeing in really any signs of life here as we go through the next several days. Now, as you look at the really long range computer models, I'm talking 10, 12, 14 days out, getting to the end of the month, they're starting to hint that we're going to continue to see more of these waves moving off the coastline will moisten up that atmosphere and then we might start to see some activity towards the end of the month, which obviously at this point makes sense because you're really heading towards that most active portion of the season. So until then, it does look like things are going to continue quiet over the next week or so, but then we'll watch to see if as we get to the end of August, 10, 12 days from now, if we do in fact start to see more signs of life in the tropics. Of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.